Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding none other than Caspa. You know, we're going to be talking about what is happening with the price of Caspa right now, where we could see the price of Caspa going as we do go further into the month of August and obviously um, start heading to Q4. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And now let's get right into it. So if we're looking at the market on the daily time frame you guys can see majority of the market is seeing a continuation of red across the board and you know that goes to even on the weekly time frame you guys can see this for yourself we're seeing a lot of red in the month of August because obviously we have heard a lot of news come out that hasn't really been positive for the entire crypto space and it has really been affecting the price of BTC Bitcoin uh, breaking below some massive massive crucial uh, levels of support and obviously that is going to impact the entire market remember you know cryptocurrency all um, you know depends on Bitcoin which is a king of the market but you know obviously if we're looking at it on the yearly time frame a lot of people do tend to forget as far as Caspa is concerned that it's still up a uh, 1100 percent so let's not forget that guys when we are analyzing the charts you know there are going to be times where we do see the red across the board but we need to keep the bigger picture in mind but if we're looking at the price of caspa as of august 24th currently sitting at 3.4 cents down about 4.5 percent over the last 24 hours in usd comparative also down about 3.5 percent in bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours two things that i want to keep uh you guys um you know focused on is the fact that you know we're seeing the 24 hour trading volume kind of decrease compared to what we have really seen it over the past few weeks currently sitting at 9.1 million dollars and the market cap is holding quite strong and that is something that you guys might not be paying attention to you know we're seeing the market cap hold really really strong you know, considering what's really happening within the markets the uncertainty level you know the amount of uh, fear right now within the markets uh, if we keep all those factors in mind caspa is holding really 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 strong and now if we're looking at their twitter guys you know caspa a project you know that i was talking to you guys about over the past few weeks you know months now at this point two to three months we've been mentioning caspa on the channel and i said you know this is a layer one and um you know these projects are very very hyped up and this project has really gained massive steam across the space and we're seeing the followers the community growing you know at a fast rate currently sitting at 78.1k followers we could be breaking 100k followers sooner than a lot of people think so that is great to see obviously as far as exchanges are concerned we're still seeing uh, pretty much the same exchanges that it was listed on i think coinx was one of the ones that got added recently if i'm not mistaken but you know we're still missing those big boys right now but speaking about the big boys guys you know we're seeing binance under some hot waters you know obviously when projects uh, i'm sorry when exchanges are under hot waters it is going to be uh, you know really hard for them to be listing some of the projects uh, promising projects because first they need to uh, have all the fud all the negative news that's revolving around their business to be cleared up so that is one thing that we need to keep in mind and of course we know that coinbase also was in some hot waters by the sec so these are some factors we need to keep in mind right now but before we jump into the charts guys as always just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so once again guys you know this is the second time we're seeing this level of support pretty much play out for uh, caspa you can see this for yourself we had two different uh you know support uh, play out at that 3.6 Six cents mark we saw the price go all the way up to that 4.4 cents mark uh, just uh, two days back you can see this for yourself we saw a bounce of about 20 percent from that level of support but right now we're seeing once again the price of casper really retesting the previous uh highs that was set back in april of this year and especially if we look at it on the hourly time frame you guys will understand better as to what really is happening you can see this for yourself we're really seeing some bounce uh, back and forth above this level of support and speaking about this level of support as mentioned to you guys in my previous video you know we need to see the price of caspa hold above this level you know um and obviously that determines whether or not this overall momentum is strong and as a matter of fact the momentum is extremely extremely strong you can see this for yourself 
even though there is a massive uncertainty right now bitcoin is still holding at some critical levels guys we have seen bitcoin bouncing back and forth around this level which i did talk about uh, that you know we would expect the price of bitcoin to hold around this level we did see btc retest almost twenty seven thousand dollars but you know the main thing is bitcoin needs to be back into the 61.8 but right now too much uncertainty within the markets and some people are even calling the btc could be retesting the twenty one thousand nine hundred dollar mark so right now bitcoin as far as btc is concerned very very critical levels and if we lose this support line we could be seeing bitcoin go down all the way to twenty four thousand nine hundred dollars and if that support is lost we could see btc retesting 22k level of support so that is what the current market um you know sentiment and the overall state of the market right now is and also dominance on the other hand is pretty much holding around the same um you know which is quite interesting to see because when bitcoin sees a little bit of a bounce we're seeing altcoins literally exploding so that is obviously a good thing to see but as far as cast by is concerned guys i love what i'm seeing right now as i've mentioned to you guys in my other updates i still I'm waiting to have my position in cast, but now that we're seeing more and more uncertainty coming in, you know, it might be a good time to be dollar cost averaging in for myself because I personally see, you know, this market still seeing a massive bull cycle. Now, you know, history is repeating itself. People think it's not, but you know, if we really look at the bigger picture, history is repeating itself. This time around, we're seeing some of the big players, you know, try not to see crypto succeed, but you know, they. I don't, in my opinion, no one can control Bitcoin. You know, no one can control crypto. And, um, you know, we're going to see um, the next few months to be very interesting. I'm projecting that, you know, Q4, we will see an altcoin rally leading up to December a holiday season and then kind of cooling off as we start the year of 2024. But really liking this, um, you know, potentially if we were to lose this level of support, we could see the price go retest, um, you know, this 3.2 cents mark, um, you know, but I would be pretty much open for myself to be accumulating within this range uh, because I do believe that Caspa will show us some crazy price movements as we do go into this altcoin rally and as this flood kind of cools down because the part the FUD is always going to be here this is cryptocurrency there's going to be times where it's really positive news there's going to be times where you know FUD is going around but you know this is where you need to be making the right decisions you know kind of timing the overall market uh, properly and that all comes down to you remember always do your own due diligence always invest what you can afford to lose and remember when you have done those two things, investing where you can afford to lose and have done your due diligence, guess, guess what you guys need to be doing? You guys need to be making a massive exit strategy for yourself where you will be you know, locking in profits and actually sticking to that. That's one thing I want you guys to be doing right now. But that is it for today's update. Once again, Caspa continuing to surprise us, but we will see what happens tomorrow. And yes, guys, I know I've been missing some days. You know, like I said, after I came back from my trip, um, you know, I was in Europe and I came back kind of honestly just was still in the vacay mode but you know it really uh, n hasn't kicked in that you know I need to get back on track uh, and um, you know but I promise you guys you will start hearing from me uh, you know on the daily basis once again and I really appreciate all your guys' support smash that like button if you have not already we're going to be hitting 100,000 subscribers hopefully next year so if I can hit 100,000 subscribers I need each and every one of you guys to really come and start showing that support which you guys have already have been doing so continue sharing continue subscribing supporting i love you all and also let me know if you guys want to see some other uh, projects that you want coverage on love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out